This week, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at three puzzles. These are the latest collaboration by Hanayama. Uh, Hanayama, who also produced my puzzle, if you guys want to check that out, the link's below. As are these, you can check them out via Puzzle Master. We have three different puzzles here. We've got starting with this one here, the Hyrule Crest. We then move on to the Triforce puzzle and then the Master Sword. Each of them get increasingly difficult as we move on. And today we're gonna to try and complete all three. Guys, if you like this content, I would really appreciate it if you left a like, subscribe if you aren't already, hit that notification bell, and maybe drop a comment below and tell me which kind of puzzles you would like to see more of on the channel. Without any further ado, let's get into solving the Zelda puzzles. Uh, Zelda. So Hanayama collaborated with Nintendo to release three sort of limited edition Zelda puzzles. Now they say levels. Uh, so out of six, we have four, six, uh, four, five, and six, basically. They go from this to this to this. Uh, today we're going to attempt to solve all three of them. You know, leave a like, subscribe, let's just get into it. So first one here, the Hyrule Crest. This is an age-old puzzle that involves manipulating a complex tangled chain. Now, tangled chain puzzles are probably my least favorite. Um, any type of string puzzle I'm not really proficient at, and it might take me a while. So this one actually might be the toughest one out of the three, for me, that is. So solving the puzzle requires freeing the Triforce from Hyrule Crest and putting it back in its place. This will mean careful, uh, careful study of the paths and not to the chain. Observation is key. So, as with most Hanayama puzzles, we got to take this apart and put it back together. The size of this is pretty cool. Like, this is a pretty big puzzle. I got big hands. Like, that's a big puzzle. So, we got this here. And then we've also got this and this. Oh, Kidoki. <laughs> Once again, the key is going to be remembering what the heck I did to solve it in the first place. Just for good measure. I wanna see if this ends up fitting in there, it doesn't. All right. Now there's this loop here. I'll probably have to bring around. And once I've brought this loop around, my guess is I'm going to have to uh, loop it all the way around. There's almost some type of magic trick, really, to get this undone, because it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like that's possible, right? So I know this probably has to come all the way around. That's probably the first move, is to bring these down here. Ooh, okay. It's so difficult to keep track of what's going on because the chains are, once they start, <laughs> once they start tangling up, like how are you supposed to tell the difference between any, look at this, like how are you supposed to decipher any of that? Patience is key and observation. I think if I place it through this hole here, and now we have this, we can probably swing that through there. Yes. And now pull it out. Whoa, there we go. And we do the same on the other side here and place it through the hole. Yep. Pull. like this. I was about finding these like knots and letting them. There we go. There we go. It should be. It should be good. Yes. Let's go. All right. So not the most difficult. It did take me a second to understand really what was happening. But basically what you want to do is you want to get this in. 
once that is in, then you want to take one side back through here and then bring this through here, like so. <clears throat> nope. Ugh, a bit of a rat's nest sometimes with this chain stuff, so you gotta be careful. And you gotta do the same on the other side, so you gotta get some more slack. That's gonna have to go there on this side. I'm very confused at the moment. Yeah, I think I might have messed up somehow. Is this it? I don't think so. Uh... Yeah. We are back on, baby. That is it. It is now back on. And then I take this. Is it this side or the other side? And then I think just wrapping those two around here and here. And we are back to the beginning. Is that the beginning? I think so. Yeah, I think that's exactly where it started. My least favorite. Uh, you have to enjoy doing puzzles, by the way. I did, do not enjoy those ones whatsoever. Ring and string puzzles are not my favorite. All right, here we go. Triforce. Here's the next one. Uh, increasingly difficult. The Triforce here, as you can see, is four pieces in total. Triforce puzzle made of four pieces. Disassembling the puzzle requires sliding the pieces. But this may not be as easy as you think. You need to figure out what holds the pieces together. Imagination and creativity is key. Okay. Oh, weird. pieces here. Okay, so they're all like kind of interlocked here somewhere. I feel like this is like a spin move. Oh, oh, well that actually did something. Oh, it was a spin move. Oh, oh, oh. Do I have to, I probably have to pull on them equally, right? To get them apart. middle piece is like holding them all together. I'm not sure what to do. Ah, I can just shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Let's go. That is cool. Oh. Oh, so Standing them up and spinning it actually, I think, was the move because look, if you notice the pins here, the pins are like this. So only if I spun it would they retract in, if I spun them like this, nothing would happen. So I might've got lucky there spinning it. Okay. Let's see if we can get it back together though. This does seem a little complex. 
So I think everything has to sort of slide in. We'll keep it upright. I know it might be a little annoying to watch, but I think, I think that might be the only way that we can get this done. So everything, again, has to fit in at the same time. Just feeling to see if all the pins are in. Voila. Ooh, that one was very satisfying. I like this one a lot. And now it's like all locked up because of those pins. So if you wanted to really undo it, you could just kind of shake it like that until it falls apart. But I think the goal here I think that's how you do it. And then sort of take it apart. I'm not gonna do it again, but that's gotta be it. Yep, that's gotta be it. Keeping it upright is key. Going like this would, would then lock it back into place. All right, that's the Triforce two of three done. Last one, well, the Master Sword. Now, I don't know if you remember, we had a Master Sword puzzle as well made of Lego. Uh, well, this is, ooh, this is the metal edition. Look at that. That is pretty. You master sword. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, so it's like a maze puzzle. Nice. All right. Let's read what it says. Master sword is connected to the stone pedestal with a central cylindrical piece. Solving the puzzle involves pulling the sword out by rotating the cylindrical piece. Patience is key, as you will need it to solve it by trial and error. Okay. Let's see here. All right. As you can see, I've got one little piece out already. And now it's coming out a little bit more. I guess if I keep it upside down, it might be easier. Ah, it comes out a bit more. I'm gonna kind of push it in a little bit and just twist it. Sometimes in these mazes, what happens is that you can't just pull and twist. You'll have to pull, twist, push, twist, pull. And now that there are two halves, you probably have to do it like this, where it's like, you gotta get half up and then the other half up. Maybe the sword being pushed in helps, I don't know. Okay, now we're going backwards. Okay, we've got all of this out already. So I think that's more than half. There's more than I thought we'd get. Now I'm just worried that I have to push like half in for me to get the next, like, you know what I mean? If that half goes in, then I can rotate. Because rotating both of them at the same time does not allow me to extract anything right now. So my guess is I gotta find where that half goes in and then pull it out. You know? Or maybe that half, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, we're getting, uh, we're getting quite a bit of progress here. I don't know if the sword being pushed in matters. I don't think so, but you never know. There is a bit of rigidity to it. Like, uh, it's not super smooth here because I guess there are 
multiple pieces forcing on each other that, uh, and gravity as well. Yeah, now we're going back in. So boom, boom, twist, pull. Back to square one. Okay, fun. So we can get it all the way to about halfway out where I push half in, I spin. All right, so there, we're going, now we're going clockwise here. So there, we turn, another half comes out. As we're turning clockwise, it comes out. So, all right, that's, quite substantial. Looking inside there doesn't really help me out right now. I think. We're going backwards again. I have to go backwards in order to get it out for some reason. I think that's what I'm missing here because I get I get to the final sort of rung right here. I'll take it. I'll get it. It's all too easy at one point. Like it gets gets to a point where I'm like, okay, it's almost out, and then it stops like it, a hard stop. So I feel like I definitely need to go back now. I'm not sure which side I have to because both sides can be pushed in individually. Uh, and brought back to the beginning. See, both sides can do that. So now, let's get one side out. With this, we then we then want to turn. Hello, this one's giving me a run for my money. I'm not sure that the sword has anything to do with it, but could be wrong. This is one of those that uh, does require a lot of patience. It does require you to remember which way you'd rotate the pieces. Okay. 
Okay, that's as far out as I can get it. Now, at this point, I can't rotate this way to get it out. I can't rotate this way to get it out. It kind of stops at a quarter turn. So I'm thinking I most definitely have to push one side in. Now, both sides push in individually. If I go over here, I can push in this side. If I rotate over here, I can push in this side. So now I have to make a decision. Which side do I push in? Let's start with this one. See if we can rotate back. And now, no, that's going backwards. So we'll go this way. Oh. Ooh, that's close. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. We're right there. We're right there. So there was a move where I had to go back. That's so cool. Oh my god, so close. We're right there. So close yet so far. So close. I'm not sure what the final move is here. I've got one side out more than the other. And uh, it seems to be like on the final rung here. But I do have to get them out, I think, together. I don't think one's gonna come out first, but I don't know. Really close. Yes! Let's go. We freed the sword. Cool sword, by the way. Look at that. Dun, da, da. Right, let's get it back in here. Now to see if we can truly put it back which I think will be a lot easier because it's just a matter of a little bit of back and forth. There was a move at one point that we did have to go back to go forward, which did confuse me quite a bit. Oh, <sighs> finally, that last one took me about 40 minutes. Um, <laughs> all the other ones are pretty simple. That one, I don't know, for some reason, I was just blanking out on how to get that back together. But there you go. All three Zelda Hanayama collaboration puzzles solved. If you like this video, leave a like, drop it now. Uh, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.